So I'll be installing the FTP server on Windows Server 2016 here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into Server Manager. And I am going to select Add Roles and Features. I'm going to click Next in this default page. Select the top role-based or feature-based installation. Select the server that I am going to install into, which is this first server here. And I will be scrolling down, expanding Web Server. And on the web server, there is an option here for FTP. And I will select the FTP. And if you want FTP extensibility, which is enabling support for the through, through ASP.NET users or IS managers, normally I leave that unchecked. And I'm going to click Next and next again and I'm just gonna simply click install and this will take about one minute now I've finished installing within one minute I'm gonna close here and I am gonna go under tools and go into IES manager and you'll notice there will be a default FTP So under sites, there's a default website I mean. If you highlight sites, I'm going to go over here and say add FTP website. And I will simply call this the default FTP site. And I have a specific folder that I would like to make as the root. I have something called FTP root here and I am going to point that directory to the location and I am simply going to say no SSL otherwise this would be FTPS and I am going to click next and this is the authentication and I will be configuring this later because I'm going to explain to you a little bit about the users and how the permissions actually work. So I'm going to click finish here. And when I highlight the default website, you'll notice here there is authentication. I'm going to double click on authentication here. And I am going to enable the basic authentication. And I'm going to go back in here and the authorization. I am going to say allow rule and I am going to add the users and these will be Windows users so for example if when I go to control panel administrative tools computer management this will be the local users that I am adding and you'll notice I have a user here called Johnny so I'll be adding that user and I will be giving that user read write permissions in this case I want to be specific with the users and I'm going to click OK and to test this I can go into any FTP client for example I am using FileZilla here and I am simply going to test localhost and I will be using the Windows password and I am going to do a quick connect here and you'll notice it was able to log in and that's really it that is how you test the FTP and set up a user and keep in mind that these users are Windows users here and that's really it uh, thank you for watching and if this was helpful uh, please subscribe